Hello and welcome to the next part of Keysoft tutorial, the rough sizing feature of Keysoft. So we have some particular data such as torque and speed. We decided to design the two-stage helical gearbox. So after the rough sizing we will get center distances, gear widths, also we will calculate gear ratio more precise than 5.8 as we get from the design task. Also, we'll get a number of teeth after the calculation. So let's go to our piece of design. Yeah. The first thing I'd like to add here is the settings table. Here I can define the default calculation methods and parameters for every gearbox element. So here we can choose lubrication materials for every group of element. So for the rating we have from our task required service life at as 10,000 hours. So let's connect all calculations. Also here we can choose the methods and uh, standards for calculations, temperatures and all the necessary parameters. So let's start our rough sizing. Let's begin with the first stage, with the first gear mesh. Just open the calculation. Yeah, here we can see the Keysoft calculation module menu. So just click on the rough sizing. Let's leave helix angle at zero. Nominal transmission ratio we will put as 2.8. Surprise integer ratios. Also here we can choose the method of evaluating the gear width. Let's leave as default for industrial gears and click calculate. Yeah. In a couple of seconds Keysoft calculated 52 options of our design. So and how can we choose from such as uh, big list the more relevant design option? So it depends on your needs for your product. For example, if you want your gearbox to be more lightweight, you can pay attention to the maximum torque per kilogram parameter. For example, let's filter our list by this parameter. Also, it can be named as power density. And have a look at maybe center distances or gear width. And let's choose for example the second one. Accept, close. Yeah, I can change gear width to the decimals. To reduce decimals numbers and leave the whole numbers also with the center distance, calculate and close. Let's refresh our models. That's what we get for now. We will change the positioning of the elements and adjust shaft geometry later after we will finish with the second stage rough sizing of gears. Again, let's click on the rough sizing, leave helix angle as 0, gear ratio as 2.1, suppress integer, calculate. Again, we've got 40 results. Also, we can use the great Kissoft feature graphic results. So 
let's set up this thing so horizontal axis I want to see the center distances we will leave it vertical axis I'd like to have a look at let's choose face width of first gear and for color scale I'd like to choose the power density torque density it will be more correct so let's choose something in the middle maybe or something that have more power dense torque density with less width of the gear first so let's choose 38 also we can filter our graph for the for such parameters like uh, root safety and flank safeties but this parameter is more relevant maybe for the fine sizing feature so we will have a look at it on the next video so let's get back and choose the 38 number accept again just a little adjust gear width center distances we will leave it as it is yeah. so now we can adjust the shaft geometries and positioning of the elements Let's just play a little bit with shafts and bearings. 70. Let's choose the inner diameter for bearing as the 70. And change with the bigger one. So, also, Kisoft have the great feature such as bearing database for some of the most common used bearings such as SKF, FAG, COYO also and TIMCAN also the inner geometry of the bearings are also integrated so on the fine sizing stage the inner geometry of the bearings are also considered and this data was get just from the manufacturer. So let's change the length and effective diameter for our coupling. Just like this. Save. There are some information and errors which we don't want to see at the rough sizing stage. We will pay attention for it on the fine sizing. Let's move to the second one. And play a little bit with the shaft. So also we can add some counters for our shafts. such like this
And let's choose again more suitable bearings. Such like this. Calculate and close. Update shafts. Recalculate. Great. And let's move to the last shaft. Change bearings. To the bigger one. And update. Now here we can see the intersection so let's adjust the length of the second shaft. Maybe just like this to avoid intersections. And updates. Yep. So we've finished with the rough sizing of our gearbox elements. The next thing we will do is the fine sizing. We will calculate the tooth geometry more precise. Also, we will calculate the shaft geometries and choose bearings more properly.